Hello, Math 144, and welcome to week three. I hope weeks one and two have been going well for you, and you're ready to charge into week three. In week two, you should have completed that first major assignment, that major assignment one. Make sure you watch the gradebook this week as we get the grades posted. It may take a little bit longer to grade these, so please be patient. But when you do see that grade, make sure you are reading the feedback and reflecting on the feedback. We will see these topics again later on in the course, so it's important that you are reflecting on your feedback so you can improve the next time you see the topic. If you did not submit your major assignment one, make sure you contact your instructor and ask if they'll accept that late submission from you. All right, so let's get into week three. All right, in week three, we will be studying financial literacy, specifically with savings. So you are gonna start seeing some financial formulas appear in Alex, and you'll start seeing some other methods um, that will help walk you through the, the formulas um, during this week. So as you see those formulas introduced, make sure you are taking notes and you're keeping those notes because we will use those formulas in the future. So you will use simple and compound interest formulas to analyze different financial financial issues. Make sure you are learning the difference between simple and compound interest and those key words in the problem that tell you it's a simple interest versus a compound interest. Those problems do set up differently and they have different methods to solving. So it's important you can identify the differences in the problems and identify the correct way to approach them. We will explore the relationship between the consumer price index and inflation. Consumer price index, we'll refer to that as CPI values. And what you'll do is you'll look up some CPI values and use them to calculate the inflation rate. You'll use lump sum and annuity formulas to explore methods of financial savings. So you're gonna look at some different options for financial savings and you'll look at different ways to compute um, the savings, how much you saved, how much you contributed, all of that. Um, and again, make sure you are taking notes on those formulas because we will see those formulas again. And then you will analyze system investments to help you de develop financial literacy skills. So hopefully by the end of this week, you'll feel a little bit better about your financial literacy skills when it comes to savings, when it comes to investing your money and how your money can grow with different types of interest. All right, as we work through this week, you can refer to units Unit two, lesson three and four in our textbook, that ebook can be accessed through Alex. In Alex, we will have those three assignments, just like we had in, top, in topic one and topic two. We will have the topic three basics, topic three homework, and topic three review. That topic three basics is going to be based off that initial knowledge check, and you'll have different basics assignments depending on how you did on that initial knowledge check. So make sure you are looking in Alex and finding that topic three basics, and then check it to see you could have tested out of it. So make sure you are looking for those basics assignments in Alex. You'll also have the topic three homework and topic three, re topic three review. The topic three review will be a quiz over the homework. So it's important to do the homework first, use the homework to learn the problems, to learn the methods, to learn those formulas, and then use the review to test your knowledge over the homework problems. You will also have two DQs this week. For topic three, DQ one, you will be looking at, uh, you will be looking ahead in our class at major assignment three. So major assignment three is due during week six and it is going to be our largest major assignment. It has two components, a written portion and an Excel portion. In topic three, DQ one, you're gonna start coming up with your project idea for that major assignment. In that major assignment three, you are going to develop a project to provide humanitarian assistance to people in your local community. So in that DQ, you're going to identify three people or contact numbers that you could reach and help identify needs in your community. You're going to find two groups of people you would like to assist, and then you're going to go ahead and come up with a project idea and let us know what your project idea is. When you do that DQ, make sure you are checking for extra instructions from your instructor. They could have um, specific details on a project they want you to choose, or they could have extra guidelines to help you choose a project appropriate for our major assignment three. In topic three, DQ two, you will be completing an Excel assignment. So make sure you are looking in that form again to see if there are any extra instructions from your instructor. 
um, and then just follow the instructions provided by your instructor to help with that DQ. That DQ will walk you through some different um, finances. You will look at formulas again, and you will be using Excel formulas in that DQ. And again, just make sure you are looking for those extra instructions or helpful tips from your instructor. And then like always, we do have that week three participation that needs to be completed throughout the week as well. All right, so I hope you guys enjoy week three. Contact your instructor if you have any questions.